Hey hello everyone my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my channel in this video we will see how to create this component okay if you see it will give uh, give us the status as well as if you want to chat if you click it will open the teams chat okay and here you can be message okay? like in this way if you want, wants to call you if you click on the call button it will go and call to an user okay so it is you can be see it is calling if you click on the start call so it will call yeah so how to create this component okay this is the dynamic if you see in the screen okay my data is now do not disturb okay so if i change this okay make it available so it will show the available as well, okay so how to do this okay let's i showcase you you can see my data is changed to available so let's create this component from the scratch okay so let's add first one horizontal ca container let's added one horizontal container we are making this component fully responsive so let i fix it here okay and the changing background color of this to the light orange okay or light blue we can be take any color as per your convenience you can take okay so if you able to not see the modern controls okay just go to the setting icon go to the updates and turn on this modern control and theme okay in this modern control just go and go to the display okay just add avatar control here okay it will showcase you the your image okay as well as your badge okay available or what is badge behind so what we have to do we are making responsive so let's i stretch this and make flexible with turn on okay let's add one button here okay why adding button okay because on the button property this chat icon is present okay icon is present, newly icon so chat let's add chat icon click on chat I want only icon, so I select the icon only. Same similarities you have to do. Just stretch it, make flexible width. Here primary color to the transparent. Then we will send font size, okay, to the parent dot height. Parent dot height. Now we have to add this icon, okay, call icon. So let's we add one icon here, okay, icon. For now, I just select add one. Okay, then go here and look for phone icon. Okay, let's scroll it down. Scroll it down. Scroll it down. So here, phone icon is display. So similarly, just turn on this. Make flexible width on. Select all three components. Okay, one. Pressing shift button of your keyboard. Select all three. By pressing shift button of your keyboard you have to select all the components and make minimum width to, to the zero because we are making this responsive one that's fine just click on save let's test the functionality it is responsive or not okay so let's select a horizontal container here okay let's change the size of this let's i make it smaller in the width yeah you can be see it is fully responsive Okay. and it works properly as well yeah let's give some gap yeah 20 and let's make the width little bit minimum height yeah so now it's look like perfect okay so let's add how to do the message okay so for that purpose on the on select property of the button if you see i simply added one launch function ms teams okay dash colon teams microsoft dot chat okay. so let's i copy this and use it here simply on the on select property okay. yeah you can type the same one okay here only you just need to give the email id of the user okay to whom you have to message yeah. let's do similar approach for call okay so this is the url for call let's i copy this url from here 
and simply I just paste it here on the on-select property. So let's test the functionality is working or not. Let's save this. Just click on the plus icon. Let's click on the chat. Hello, open. So yeah, you can be see I just landed with this. Okay, let's click on the heart. For calling also, you can be see. Yeah, it's working properly. You can make the call here. Okay, simply click on start call. So let's uh, see how to make this dynamically. Okay, how to get the batch. Okay, so let's I go and showcase here how I done this. Okay, so if you go for Microsoft Graph. Okay, so we have the one presence. Okay, let's I go and showcase you the documentation. Simply search get presence Microsoft Graph. I hope it will give us the proper documentation. Get presence, yeah, it, it is giving. Let's see. Yeah, get presence action. Uh, we will get. So for this, uh, you need the delegation delegated permissions. Okay. Presence read and higher privileges. Presence read all. Okay. For personal Microsoft account, it will not support. Okay. For application, you need presence read all and presence read write all these permissions you need. Okay. And this is the end point. Okay. If you want yourself, you can simply pass me presence. Okay. If you want some users, okay, you can give user ID, you can give email ID or the user ID. Anything you can be passed. In this case, I just using me, okay, because I needed of myself. Okay. Whenever user changes the screen, okay, this flow will run. Okay. Status run. And gives me the status according to that. If you see GBL status. Is now showing busy okay i also showcase on teams okay my status is now busy yeah let's i go and showcase you how i created this flow 19 seconds ago it runs okay. just click on the edit simply i use power apps button trigger okay then http trigger condition okay and taking the availability status only okay in the compose and sending to the power apps okay let's say go open the microsoft graph api if you run this okay you can see you are get availability let's say one more run the query it will give current it availability busy so this is i just extraction if you want activity you can also pass the activity yeah and simply i calling this flow on the screens on visible property means whenever users navigate okay this flow will run screen to select let's i change my data and make it available now. Yeah, done it let's go to the power apps in the play mode just click on the button so you can be see my data is now changed to available. So in this way, uh, you can be use okay and create these custom components. I hope you love this video. If you have any doubt, any questions, you can ask me in the comment.